hopped on this lake. It's been a while since we've been here. You got my boy Chance with me today. It's been forever. It's been Listen, a while, y'all. It feels good to get back on the water. It's been so long. The first day I actually fished with Chance was on this lake, wasn't it? He almost hooked his dad in the eye. It was a crazy day. We caught like 100 fish, though. Oh, yeah. Was it that day or was it the next time? We no, caught, like, I think the next time was 100 fish. Yeah, we caught so many fish, and uh, it was a, it was a, just an amazing day overall. Um, this pond is super clear. It's a smaller little lake. I mean, you could kind of call it a lake, right? When you got a boat I mean, in here. Yeah, we got a boat in it's, here. It's a lakish slash pond. It's been a while since I've been here. I filmed one episode here last year where we caught them on bed and we're back at it today and we're gonna be trying to catch some big fish. And if you guys are wondering about the conditions, we got a tiny bit of wind today. In the skies, bluebird skies, there's not a cloud to be found. I think we're gonna have to slow down today. And the water clarity in this pond, why don't you show them, Chance? Put that red eye shot right there. How clear the water is in here. On a good day, you can see about 10 foot down, which is just insane. You can almost see the bottom. So uh, we're gonna get at it today for a bunch of different baits, which we're gonna talk about here in a moment. And hopefully land us a five plus pounder. Look at this. Was that your first cast? First cast, yeah. On the red eye shot. Yep. No way. And it's a dang good one too. I don't even have my GoPro. I don't even have to... Want me to grab him? Ah, yeah, dude, that's a good one. Look how fat he is right there. Freaking awesome. Yeah. Go ahead and let him go. He's bleeding a little bit. This man. <laughs> really trying to do it right now. So this is what we're going to throw. So this is the one that we smacked him on at Lake Mayor. If you guys haven't seen that episode, highly suggest you go back. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel, Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Go check out that Lake Mayor video. We had a great time. We were smoking them on that red-eye shad right there. And uh, they were munching it pretty good. The one that you're throwing is like what? A little sexy shad? Yeah, it's like a sexy shad. Chartreuse? Chartreuse. He did catch one on his first cast. And if I know anything about that, it's either really good luck or... Most of the time it's really good luck out here. It is, but like the first cast. Are you weird about that? First cast, not, not out here. All right, we'll see. Chance is already talking a little bit of smack, so hopefully we'll end up smoking him. All right, there we go. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, we're gonna start this off. Lipless crankbait. See what we can make happen. Chance got one on his first cast. That's a good sign. Now we just gotta try to duplicate it. I don't know. Hopefully it was some good luck. This water is so clear. The visibility is insane out here. I'm just really hoping we run into a four to five, maybe six, maybe 14, you know, maybe 17. You just never know. Might be one in here, right? I can't believe he choked it like that. First one. Is that what you're saying that she got two? Oh, no, it's not those. They're over on the ground. Did he eat it up on the bank? No, it was out. Oh. I was burning it. I wasn't. <laughs> like, I can't believe he ate it that to get good. The first cast out the yeah. Should have just made a little short one and then threw up there. Yeah. There's no way they're betting on with all this cold weather. All right, so we've been fishing for a minute. Ever since Chance caught that first fish on the first cast, we have yet to have a bite so um i'm gonna switch up to one of these z2s you know we talked about them recently these are the elastec flukes and they're very durable and you can catch 10 fish on each one this is actually a smoking shad color let's see what the exact name is smoky shad we're gonna rig this up it's a regular three yacht ewg hook start casting it around 
I'll tell you the smoking shad right now, while the sun is glaring down, it has these little blue and silver glimmers within the bait. And uh, the sun will bounce off that really well and reflect in the water. But I'm gonna throw that around for a bit around these little grass piles and see if we can get something to come out. These fish are a little more finicky today. Hey, I see fish eating bait right there. Chance on the edge of that grass. Kind of where I just casted. I mean, I got that punching rig just in case I need to flip back up in that little puddle. Remember that? Yeah. Should I try it with the punch rig? I think I should shoot for the fences. For all of that. You see all the bait. Mm -hmm. That is so deep. Like it wouldn't surprise me. Get him. Big him. That's a good one, ain't it? What in the world you got? Pretty good one. Two pounder. There you go. You get him on a curl. Little creature bait. Dude, when you leaned into him, he seems so big. Choked it. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, hold up. Are they going to do this now? That was insane. He hit me so hard, I literally felt it in my toes. My fish has just hammered this. There he is. Got a whole bucket of salad with him. <laughs> Let's go. Or that's how you want to catch him. I don't even know if I want that weight anymore. That's fun. That's so much fun. Oh man, I haven't caught him punching in a very long time. Not a big bass, but but hey, he's a pretty one. Let's get a little nice shot. Look at that one. That's my first fish today. Three fish total, right? Yep. And that is awesome to catch one punching like that, flipping the edge of this grass. He actually bit me the cast before, and I got him that second time. Let's get him back in the water. Some pretty markings on these fish in this clear water. She just splashed me all over my face. All right, let's get back in there. You should have felt the way that fish hit, hit it the first time. It was like, dude, the whole rod like bounced. So guys, this is also, you know, I went down to Florida. I got these new Super Duty combos by, by Luz. Um, big shout out to David for, for getting these over to me before my Florida trip. But it's my second time using them rather than the Florida trip. And let me tell you, they're actually very sensitive. The way that that fish just hit the bait was insane. Like I could feel the whole vibration all the way down to my toes. That was crazy. But we actually had a little rage crawl on there. We're gonna have to change that out. And we're gonna get back in there. Hopefully we can catch them on the edge like that because if we can catch them punching, I'm probably not gonna stop throwing it. And the crawl that we're gonna throw, this is actually my favorite color of all time. This is a summer crawl by uh, Striking, the rage crawl. I bought, I used to buy like 10 packs of these at a time for some of the um, high school tournaments back in the day. This color smokes them. Have you used this much, this color? Mm -hmm. It's a juice. You know, we've always talked about punching this place and we never did. We never did. No. We always talked about it though. One day I came out here. I um I was gonna punch. I brought my punching rig and everything. And yeah. I was catching them so good on the trap, I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even pick it up. <laughs> pick it up. Yeah. That's where the big ones are, dude. They have to. That stuff, yeah, bro. they have to. Oh. Oh, that's. Oh, he came off, dude. No way. I saw him. That was a he had a big head on him, didn't he? I got a little I got a little nervous, man. I get so nervous punching like this with people on the boat. Like if I was by myself, I would oh. I'd rip the fish's head off. Like but when I have people in the boat with me and you have a two ounce weight, the last thing I want is 
<laughs> smack Cody in the side of the shoulder with it, that would not be good. So I gotta be a little careful. If I would've hook set right when he bit it, I probably would've caught him, but that was cool. He was deep in that stuff, yeah. dude. Just a big boy. Oh, oh my God, he back backlash my reel. Oh, you see him right there? Did he come off? Look, he has my bait. Or no, 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 wait, he's still on. Oh gosh, he's a big one, dude. I thought he was off. Yeah, that's a four pounder. Get him, Chance. That's what we need right there, brother. Get him, boy. He's three pounds, not four. <laughs> they look big in that clear water. That's a good one, though. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's the ones that we're looking for today. With the punching rig, that's a good fish. This is just a mean looking guy. Gosh. That is a good bass right there. Look at his nose. It's a little messed up. Best fish today so far. Still punching the edge of this grass. That one is actually a little further up in there. It's funny because I leaned back, hooks at him. Next thing you know, I thought he came off and I just had the grass and I, I saw him swimming down there and the bait was still in his mouth. So that's a pretty fish right there. Let me see if we can keep on catching some and uh, upgrading. Got him, but it's <laughs> dude. I'm already getting my workout. He's in that stuff, dude. Oh yeah, he's right there. It's a dang good one too. Holy cow! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! You gotta love it. Rage crawl on the back of his mouth. Stuck him good, dude. Whew. I'm telling you, I'm getting a workout early today. I still haven't gone to the gym, but hey, we getting it with these fish. Pulled them out of this slop. It's another little nice one. So we actually went down this bank and we were talking earlier, you know, you have all these straight grass banks, but then you have these little tiny spots that have little divots, little tiny pockets in the grass, little nipples that come out. And that's where those bigger fish are sitting. And right here on this back bank, this is where I actually caught the first one has a lot deeper water. And I think that's where some of those bigger fish are. And these fish are fat and healthy. We need to get back in there and see if we can catch another one, but that's a solid little two pounder. Nice. A big dude. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Hey, go in, go in, go in, go in. Go in. I'm, I'm gonna grab him. He's like right here. Let me see if he jumps. He might have went back in. Guys, that sucks right there. That was a good fish. I was I pitched all the way back. You almost got like this little tiny puddle right here behind the grass. And I was working that puncher. Usually I like flip it in there. And I go up about three or four times and I really back in, but I, for some reason, started doing it a little bit longer, probably on like the sixth pump that fish hammered it. And I saw his belly, it looked like it was about four pounds and he just came off right there. This two ounce weight just has so much momentum in it. It can sling it out of their, out of their mouth so easy. Just as easy as you can hook them. We're gonna get back in there. There might be another one. Right there on that fluke. Ate it like a top water. Probably my smallest fish of the day, but that was fun, I'll tell you that. 
after catching all those on that punching rig, throw in there with the fluke, that's a Z2 right there. Skinny little bass, but he ate it just like a top water. So much fun. Right there on the edge of this grass, we noticed that this bank was a lot shallower and uh, I couldn't really get that punching rig down in there. You know, I wanted some deeper water to flip into. So I picked up that fluke, started casting across this grass and got some pretty old bass. That's a good one too. Dude, Biggest that is the day. fat as can be, dog. Look at that fish. That's the fattest fish we caught out of here, dude. Yep. Look at that thing. He ate it right in front of the boat. That's insane, dude. Thank God he didn't come off. Look at that fat belly. He got them black markings all over him. Look at that one right there, guys. I don't know if that's the biggest one, but I can definitely say that's the fattest fish of the day. When you look on his tail, you can almost see these black markings on this bass. And it's crazy because we were so close to that patch right there, right in that corner. It had a lot of deep water on it. That, that fish is over three pounds right there. Fat belly, he's chunky. Get him back in the water. That is a, that's a football. That's the ones we've been looking for today. He ate that punching rig right in front of us. There she goes. So we just got off the water. We got off the water about an hour ago. We kind of had a situation where Chance's truck got stuck and kind of show you guys. Wait till you see how much dirt is in his boat. It was a situation, but we got it taken care of. Stayed out here for a while, got us a good chain and I, I towed him out of here. I feel so bad, look at this. Oh my God. But we got the situation taken care of and if you guys enjoyed this video, if you could, please hit the like button. We got some more amazing content coming soon. We got Cody with the sexy drone shots. We're going to have some more coming soon. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. I appreciate the support, more importantly. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next episode. <laughs>